Hi everyone, my name is Tatiana and welcome to my kitchen. In today's episode, we're gonna be making sushi and I'm gonna take you through literally all the steps of the sushi making process. We're gonna start out with actually making the sushi rice, how to get it perfect. I'm gonna go through all the different fish toppings and, and fillings that you can use. We're also gonna show you all the vegetable ingredients. We're gonna go through all the garnishes, all the sauces, and I'm even gonna show you how you can deep fry them. And then we're gonna go to the actual sushi rolling process, cutting, plating, and making, of course, a beautiful presentation. Before we begin the episode, let's go through all the ingredients that we're gonna need. We're gonna start off with our rice. So here I've purchased some premium short grain rice at a local Japanese supermarket. And you will also need some seasoned rice vinegar and some sugar. We will need flat sheets of roasted seaweed that you could pick up at a local grocery store. Now, I don't like to use these crab sticks that you could purchase, but if you don't like the raw fish ingredients, you can use these instead. I prefer to use raw fish. I have some tobiko eggs here that I like to garnish with, even put inside. I have some salmon and I have some yellowtail tuna. You can also purchase ahi tuna. Now with the fish, you wanna be really safe. You wanna purchase the freshest sushi grade fish that you can find and use it the same day. I also have some pre-sliced smoked salmon that I'm gonna use as garnish. We are gonna go over to some of the vegetable fillings we can use. I have some cucumber. I've sliced into matchstick size and we also have some avocado, some asparagus that I'm going to show you how to uh, deep fry and tempura batter. I have some chopped green onion and some sprouts that I'm going to use for garnish. We're also going to need a tempura batter mix if you do want to deep fry any of your sushi. Now I love to use cream cheese inside but I actually prefer to use a whipped cream cheese instead of a block cheese. It's much fluffier and when you put it inside it goes on a lot better. Now, if you want to use spicy mayo, what I actually like to do is just combine mayo with some sriracha sauce and it makes for a perfect spicy mayo for your uh, garnishes. We're also going to need some eel sauce, some wasabi, and I actually like to use tamari instead of soy sauce. It's gluten-free and it's actually a little bit better in flavor and it has less sodium. If you like, you can also stick with regular soy sauce. So let's begin. For the first step of making the sushi rice, we're gonna measure out three cups of rice. Now, the portion for this is about one cup of rice for three rolls. It might be about two and a half rolls with this recipe. That's what I've measured it out to be. We're also going to need half a cup of your rice vinegar. We're gonna need two tablespoons of sugar and you're gonna place this into the rice vinegar. So two tablespoons of white sugar. And we're also gonna need two teaspoons of salt that we're gonna add in there as well. Now this mixture, we're gonna actually add to the rice after it's done cooking. So right now, you're gonna just measure this out and we're gonna set it aside for later, okay? Now going back to the rice, what we need to do is we need to wash it before we actually cook it. I like to use just a, a fine mesh strainer like this, get a bowl of cold, cold water, okay? And we're gonna pour the rice into here and then you're just gonna strain it back and forth for a few minutes just to get some of that starch out of there. And you don't need to wash it super, super well, just enough just to get some of that starch off. Now I've washed this rice for a few minutes and got some of that starch off and then you wanna drain the water out of this pan here. And we're just gonna shake off some of that excess water because rice to water ratio makes a big difference when you're cooking sushi rice. Now we're gonna place this rice into a pot that I have here and I have just slightly more water than I have rice. So three cups of rice, I have about three and a quarter cups of cold water here, okay? Now we're gonna bring this to the stove and we're gonna cook it for about six to eight minutes once it starts to simmer and then if we're gonna check and see the water level. You wanna cover this and cook this for 16 minutes. If there's still water in the pot, go ahead and cook it for a minute or two more. But as soon as that water evaporates, you're gonna remove the pot from the stove top and we're gonna add this mixture that we have here with the rice vinegar and the sugar. All right, so this is what your rice should look like when it's all done. And remember to stir your sushi rice with a wooden spoon. I took, cooked it with my lid for about six to eight minutes until all that water has evaporated. Now we're gonna come back over to our rice vinegar. I have my sugar, my salt in here. Give it a quick stir and make sure it gets about halfway dissolved, as much as dissolved as you can. And we're gonna pour it over the rice and then we're gonna cover it with the lid. So I pour everything in there. Give it a quick stir just to redistribute everything. Okay. And then 
we're gonna cover it and we're gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes so that all can get absorbed into that rice. Meanwhile, we're gonna get the rest of our ingredients ready. So while rice is finishing, we're gonna get everything else ready, okay? So we were gonna wrap our bamboo rolling mat with cling wrap, and it makes it so much easier to clean it. That way the rice isn't sticking to little bamboo panels. And that way when you're all done, you just peel off the cling wrap and it's clean and you could put it back into storage, okay? So let's go to cutting our fish. I like to get nice blocks of fresh fish. This is this is our tuna. I'm also gonna show you how to do the salmon. You wanna get a really, really sharp knife. So pre-sharpen them before you start cutting them. And we're gonna cut our fish at an angle. So you always kinda wanna kinda pull it down and you wanna do really nice thin slices. So you're just gonna hold it at one end and then just slice your knife through the fish just like that, okay? at an angle, one stroke. And with the salmon, you're gonna cut it a little differently. We're actually gonna just slice straight down across the grain, okay? Just take your sharp knife. You can resharpen in between fish if you'd like, and just gently slice it down. We're gonna get nice blocks of fish like that, okay? Just gently slice down. Just like that. All right, now comes the fun part. So I have my rice ready. I've just transferred it into a bowl to make it easier for myself. I'm gonna set that aside. Make sure that your bamboo roller is wrapped in cling wrap. We're gonna start out with a regular uh, sushi roll where the seaweed is on the outside. I'm gonna just place it here. I'm gonna place, I don't know, about a cup of rice onto our seaweed here, okay? And I actually like to keep a small bowl of water mixed with a little bit of oil, about half and half. And the spatula will be nice and um, greasy. That way it'll help you spread the rice a lot easier. All right, so as you can see, I've spread my rice evenly over my sheet of seaweed. And for this one, I'm gonna make it really simple. I'm gonna place some crab inside, some cucumber, and some cream cheese. Just a very standard, easy recipe. So I'm gonna get my cream cheese spatula. And I'm gonna place my filling ingredients on this lower third part of my of my sushi roll. That's the part that gets wrapped up first and you want all your ingredients right in there, okay? Just take the spatula. We're gonna spread this cream cheese across here, okay? All right, so I'm gonna finish spreading my cream cheese here. Now I'm gonna top it with some of the crab. We wanna place the crab about there and then we're also going to get a piece at the edge here and just cut it off so it doesn't stick out of your sushi roll. Place that back in there. I'm also gonna add some cucumber. Grab a few of your matchstick sliced cucumber pieces. And put them along here. You just want all the ingredients to be evenly distributed inside, okay? Just like that, maybe we'll add a little bit of my green onion in there as well. Okay. You can also add some of your avocado. I'm just gonna slice some of it off. Want to get a spoon? Just cut it out of there like that. And we're just going to place little pieces along here. Okay. Now comes the fun part. We're actually going to roll the sushi roll, okay? So, what we want to do is you want to gently go ahead and start the roll without the bamboo. And then we're just going to press everything together. So, gently roll. Make sure all these pieces stay in place. Now you see how I did that? I didn't do it all in one roll. I kind of, I, I roll it a little bit and then I pull it back and I place my roll to where I want it and then I roll it again, okay? And I just, you want to run, run your hand along the bamboo roll just to seal everything inside and give it a beautiful presentation, okay? So I'm just going to set this aside for now. We're not going to cut it yet. I'll show you how to cut everything after we've gone through a couple rolls. For our next one, we're gonna make an inside out sushi roll where I'm gonna put the rice on the outside and we're gonna put the seaweed and the fillings on the inside. So we're gonna place some rice onto our bamboo mat. Okay. I'm gonna get my oiled spatula and we're gonna spread it nicely just as we would if we were 
having a seaweed piece on here. Just want to approximate the size. So once you have your sushi rice spread nicely and evenly, we're going to place a piece of our seaweed on top, just like that. And then for this one, I'm thinking some cream cheese, some salmon, some tobiko inside, maybe a few cucumber pieces, or you can even use some fresh asparagus inside as well. All right, so again, we're gonna spread our cream cheese before we put anything else on there. And I think that makes the cream cheese a little more evenly distributed versus putting it on the top. All right, so after our cream cheese, let's put on some salmon. Now, if you have little pieces, that didn't cut quite right, we're just gonna put them in the middle, just like that. Put some salmon in there. Okay, now I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna top it with a few cum cucumber slices. And I'm also gonna put some asparagus in here. And if you don't want your sushi roll to be too thick, you can actually just slice your asparagus down the center. Okay, I'll just put one piece inside, okay? I'm gonna put a few pieces of sprouts inside. Okay, and we're also gonna put some of this tobiko inside. Now, remember, you want to just gently fold it over. You want to keep everything inside there. Just place your hand right there and then roll it. Firmly press everything down. And you're going to roll it again. Press again. Keep everything inside. Now, for this last one, just go ahead and pick it up. Place it again in the middle. And again, just gently press everything firmly inside, okay? And then if you want these rolls to, to, to have even ends, just go ahead and place them on the end like that. Right. We're gonna set this aside and we're gonna cut it later. Okay, so I have my su sushi rice evenly spread out here. We're just gonna straighten up the edges. Okay, then we're gonna top it with our sheet of seaweed. Just want to gently press it down and then in this one we're going to be putting our tuna so go ahead get some of your tuna slices put them down here on the lower third part of your sushi roll and you can put as much or as little as you'd like inside there you go all right then i'm going to put just a little bit of this tobiko inside I'm going to be adding some avocado to this one. So I pre sliced it to my avocado and then I just take a spoon, just gently pull it out of there. Just as many slices as I need. Right. Okay, there you go. I'm also going to put just a few sprouts in here. All right, so let's roll this one as well, okay? So again, gently fold your rice over. Make sure all the ingredients are staying inside. They're not coming out. Okay, we're gonna roll it again. Firmly pressing down to seal everything inside. Now press it down one more time, just like that, okay? And then of course you wanna take it at the very end Push it, put it in the center, and then roll the bamboo around it. We're gonna seal everything nicely, firmly inside of there, just like that, okay? All right, we're gonna set this one aside. I've spread my rice nice and evenly with the oiled spatula. We're gonna set that aside. Now, I wanna do a combination one for this. So I'm gonna use some of my smoked salmon in here. And I absolutely love smoked salmon. It's one of my favorite types of fish. 
put that inside. I'm going to top it with a little bit of my tuna in here as well. Cut some of this in half. Some of this here. Add a little bit of tobacco in here as well. And I think I'm just going to add a few strands of cucumber here. Now we're gonna top it with our sheet of seaweed. Gently press it down. And for this one, we're gonna add some of our, our smoked salmon and our regular salmon in here. Side, some of our smoked. I'm gonna cut this in half. And I really like this one because I actually used some of my spicy mayo on the inside of this one. So what I've done is I've mixed some regular mayonnaise with some sriracha sauce into a dispenser bottle and it makes it so much easier to you know drizzle it over trays when you're presenting it and put it on the inside as well. So I'm just gonna spread some on the inside like that. Got a few of my sprouts inside. And I also really like to add lobster fresh bay scallops if you have them. You can put so many different things inside your sushi rolls. So don't stay with one item. Okay, I'm gonna roll that all up. Press it firmly down, unroll it, roll it again. Just like that. Straighten out the edges and then it's all good to go. For those of you who love to have your sushi rolls deep fried, I'm going to show you how you can do it at home. So we're going to need some tempura batter mix. You can actually make your own, but it's so much easier if you just have a box. You can pick it up for $2 at the supermarket. We're going to mix that in a shallow glass tray. And then on my stovetop, I actually have a large saucepan of oil, about one and a half inches. It's on a medium high heat because when you drop those sushi rolls inside of there, you don't want them to sit in the oil and absorb it. You want to flat fry it really quick. It's like a minute and a half, two minutes maximum. So just the outside is golden and crispy. Okay, so for our tempura batter mix, we're gonna pour one and a half cups of cold water. And of course, this is gonna depend on which type of batter you purchased, okay? We're gonna sprinkle this inside. And you wanna make this batter right before you use it. It's not recommended that you let it sit out while you're making the sushi. And we're just gonna quickly just stir everything together. You wanna mix this batter until it's nice and smooth. You don't want any clumps in there. Okay, so that's all done. What we're gonna do is take a pair of tongs. And we're gonna take our sushi roll just gently. Okay, and we're going to roll it in this batter. And as soon as you roll it, you wanna take it over to the stove top and we're gonna place it into that hot oil, okay? So once we're over at the stove top, we're gonna just pick up your sushi roll with your tongs. And just very carefully, this is hot oil, so you don't wanna burn yourself. We're gonna drop it in there, okay? Just like that. And we'll just gently twist it. It's gonna it's gonna cook very quickly. You just wanna sit it, let it sit in there for about a minute and a half, two minutes maximum, just so that crust is golden brown on the outside. Okay. 
All right, so we're almost done. After all our hard work, I just have a few more steps to show you. I'm gonna show you how to slice it, how to garnish it, and then how to plate it. So I'm gonna top some of my rolls with some of my tabiko, my salmon, my tuna, my smoked salmon. I also have some sprouts, some green onions, some avocado that you can use. I have some spicy mayo, some eel sauce, some sriracha. And then you also wanna find some nice presentation plates. You can pick these up at any of your local um, home furnishing stores. Uh, you can have larger plates, smaller plates. I really like these, just nice, long, narrow plates where you can put your sushi rolls onto. And you can also have smaller ones like this one. So one of my favorite garnishing techniques is adding avocado on top of each sushi roll. So take it, a half avocado, take a sharp knife, and we're gonna try to keep it together. We're gonna make very, very thin cuts, about eight inch thick into your avocado, keep it together. So once you have your avocado slice, we're gonna gently fan it out and then we're gonna place it on top of the sushi roll. So when, when you fan it out, you just wanna gently push from one side, pull from the other, and we're gonna separate the avocado slices as evenly as you possibly can, okay? And then we're just gonna gently place it on top of the roll, just like that. If you have smaller pieces, you can get rid of those just to make it a nice, even presentation, just like that, okay? Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a sheet of cling wrap, okay? And you're gonna place it directly on top. And this is actually gonna assist with keeping the avocado in place and it's gonna let you cut the sushi slices evenly, okay? Just gently roll it. Don't worry, it's gonna stay in place, just like that. And I like to do half and then half again and then another half. So. This sushi roll is going to give you eight slices. Just like that. Fall apart, and it already looks so beautiful inside. So for our last step, we're going to remove the cling wrap, but before I do that, I'm actually going to prep my tray here with some of my sauces. You could just, just get some eel sauce. I know this is a favorite of a lot of people. Just make a few designs on your plate. Get some spicy mayo on there. Just like that. If you want to add some sriracha sauce, maybe just put some in the corner there. Just like that. Okay. What we need to do is just very gently unwrap the pieces. Okay. That way the avocado stays in place. Just like that. One of my other favorite techniques is just simply placing the tobiko eggs on top and then pressing them into the sushi and cutting and it makes a beautiful presentation. So for this one, you wanna take your tobiko and just gently press it onto the top. And then we're gonna take some cling wrap and wrap it around the sushi and that's gonna actually gently press the tobiko eggs into the rice and it makes a beautiful presentation. Okay, so after you finish cutting, all you do is just simply lift this cling wrap right off the sushi, just like that. And we're gonna get your plate ready and we're gonna plate it. And you can garnish this plate in any way you'd like. I know a lot of people love spicy mayo. I'm gonna do a few nice designs with this. Get some eel sauce. Now this is gonna be spicy because I'm adding some sriracha sauce in there as well. And then you can grab a toothpick. I know I had it here somewhere. Or you can grab a knife and you just pull it and it makes a beautiful design. Just like that. And we're gonna take our sushi and we're gonna transfer it onto that plate. Now for my final rolls of sushi, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna top them with the fresh fish that I have left over. So I'm gonna start with my smoked salmon and you just wanna gently 
gently place it over the top. It's one of the easiest techniques and it looks beautiful. Layer it nicely. Just like that. We're gonna grab a roll of our cling wrap. Place it on top. Grab our sharp knife and then just cut it. Again, you wanna cut it in half, then quarters, and then again into eight pieces. Thank you so much for watching this episode on how to make your own sushi at home. You know, I always encourage people to go out and try new things. So don't limit yourselves to the fillings and toppings that we use today. Try some base scallops, some lobster, some shrimp, some prawns. You know, there's so many different variations. I can't show you everything all at once, but go ahead and try them. I like to get my ingredients very fresh at local supermarkets, at Japanese stores, which will sell almost all the ingredients and all the tools that you see here that we used. Also, it's a really great activity to do with a, a larger group of people. Just prep everything before they come into your kitchen, have everything ready, and then your guests can make your own sushi rolls for dinner. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.